Hey guys, RC here, back with episode two of our six season draft day sports pro football 20. Uh, just a reminder about the upcoming giveaway for a copy of this game. Uh, keep an eye out on the channel for news and details. And it's open to anybody, so uh, just they just want to get a copy of the game and play it. So uh, we'll be doing that. Uh, news will come out around Thanksgiving. And if you're not American, that is uh, the 20... Let me give you the right date. The 28th of this month, 28th of November. And we'll have the drawing right around Christmas. Uh, probably the day after Christmas, uh, December 26th, uh, is what I'm thinking, but, uh, we'll, you know, you know me, I wing all this stuff, but, uh, I do have a copy of the game to give away. Uh, I will announce news about it. It will be around Thanksgiving and then I will draw the winner right around th Christmas. So <laughs> I know those are factual statements, uh, dates and times to be determined. All right, well, let's get to uh, the season here. So let's update our news from last time. So we've got one player, one of our running backs, with a stress fracture. He's out one to two weeks. We had two big retirements. Uh, Demarcus Lawrence was 32 when he retired. Ezekiel Elliott got his big payday and then abruptly retired. Uh, so I don't know what that was all about. But 29 years old seems a little young. But okay. And uh, then we made a trade. Uh, guard uh, Xavier Suafilo went to Tampa Bay for Alex Kappa and a fifth round pick in next year's draft. So we are uh, doing pretty well. Uh, we lost our opener and then we won five in a row. So we are at five and one. The Giants, who we lost to, are in second place. But let's get to uh, the second sim of the season. We're going to go from week 7 through week 12. And uh, that's where we will finish up today. Today we play uh, the Niners. So we'll go ahead and sim that out. And a 31-17 victory. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, let's see. That was the Niners. So Ship, Cooper... Cooper with a second touchdown. Ship with a second touchdown. Very good. Prescott goes 18 of 31, 177 yards. I think that's his first four touchdown game in this sim. Um, not this episode, but in this series. Uh, Watson goes for 18 for 85, 4.7. So remember, we did move him at the end of last episode from our backup to our starter. And Barrera went to the backup role. And neither one was doing very well. They were both averaging around two and a half to three yards a carry. So that's reassuring. Cooper, five for 72. Uh, look at Oliphant, 10.8 10 yard, 10 yards a grab. Sweet. And Boswell, one for one on the field goals. Still like to check that every once in a while. I wonder why Boswell punted. And a 52-yard average. Well, hell, I'm going to cut my punter, and Boswell can be Russell Erksleben and do it all. If you don't know who Russell Erksleben is, but you're a football fan, Google him. New Orleans Saints, Russell Erksleben. You won't be disappointed. It'll be good for a chuckle. <laughs> all right, let's move on to here. Uh, we play Philadelphia. Oh, wait, we had you know, email. Come on. Stay on top of things here, RC. All right, we got that. Same injuries, nothing new there. All right, boom. Twenty-six to ten. We're seven and one. Got to like that. All right, Prescott, 20 of 29, 224 and a touchdown. Watson, 19 for 79. They both average over four yards a carry. That's that's reassuring. Uh, I, think, I think we have found our starter, right? I think we have found our starter and then possibly our short yardage back as well. Uh, Cooper, 7 for 93. Ship, 6 for 81. So we have... Pretty evenly matched bookend receivers now, I would think. I think we finally got those guys where we want them. All right.
right. Turnbull, Ruiz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any more news? Dion. All right, so he's doubtful for this week with that foot fracture. All right, uh, was that our week off? That was our week off. All right, so the bye week. Excellent. All right, we are seven and one. We've opened up a two game advantage. That's nice. We'll look at that in more detail. I just wanted to check it for ourselves. All right, Zach Martin has a broken nose, but he is probable. Dion is now questionable. Well, still questionable. All right, and we play the G Men this week. Big rivalry game. This is this is kind of a big game because this will open up a pretty big advantage for us if we win. And they're the only team to have beaten us this season. So we're at home. Oh yeah, revenge is so sweet. And it's a dish best served cold from what I understand. Not a big fan of cold food unless it's like cereal with milk. You know, milk's cold. Everything else, you know, cold pizza. I'm I'm a I'm a hot pizza guy. Um, even 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 coming off a hangover or something, I'm I was a hot pizza guy. All right, let's see. We got High Watson with a touchdown, Ship with a catch, Oliphant picked up one this week. Prescott, I was like sixteen to thirty-two. That's not very good. Twenty-two out of thirty-eight. That's a little bit better. That's about fifty. That's about sixty percent, fifty-eight percent. Uh, 18 for 50, only 2.8 for Watson this week. 5.3 for Barrera. Ship, Cooper, big games again. All right. Reuter is complaining about playing time. That's fine. We could be building a real dynasty here. Don't go there, man. Don't go there. We don't want to hear any of that crap. All right, so he's still questionable. Tight hamstring plus the broken nose. And then Flores. Oh, no. Starting center, a fractured eye socket. Um, so Armstrong and then Anthony. All right, Armstrong. He's got really good strength, and his blocking's not horrible. So he's a rookie. So the rookie's going to get a start this week. Are we? Yeah, we're in week eleven, so we got two games left. This one's on the road against my uh, at home against Miami. Thirty-four to ten. Got to like that. High Watson an eight-yard run. Oliphant a touchdown catch. Ship and Cooper both find the end zone again. Prescott, 19 of 30, two touchdowns, two interceptions, though. Ugh. High Watson, 12 for 44. Barrera averages 6.8 yards a carry. Cooper with a big game, 136 yards. Very nice. All right. Delete. Delete. Team news. All right, so he's probable. Martin's back in the lineup. Fractured eye socket is still questionable. And we've lost Oliphant to migraines for one to two weeks. All right, well, that happens, you know. And, and, you know, the NFL, next man up, right? All right, this week we're playing on the road against Buffalo in the snow. So you would think in a real-world situation the running game would be very crucial this week, right? Um, hmm. And every well, three of the four people are picking the Bills. Interesting. Um, there was some. Oh, I saw this that the Lions re signed their head coach. So I want to go look at our staff. So he's got two years left, he's got five. So everybody's under contract. This guy I wasn't sure about. But he's actually doing a pretty good job. Pretty good job. And he was a positional coach. So basically I hired uh, Freddie Kitchen 
uh, the Cleveland coach. <laughs> I heard a positional coach. Uh, it's working out, though, unlike Cleveland. Still can't believe that fight Thursday night. Uh, let's see. So we're playing Buffalo. I think we get a loss here, guys. I think we get hung with a loss. 24-7. to Did not look good. Hi, Watson, from a yard out. We actually had more yards, more first downs, better passing. But, yeah, they had much better running. And we didn't have a turnover. That's, hmm. I think that comes down to this right here. Prescott did not, could not lead us to the win. Yeah. Is what it is, I suppose. That is disappointing. All right. Um, yep, yep, yep. Team news. All right, so he's probable. Flores will be back. Oliphant's still going to be out. All right, let's take a look at our standings to wrap up the episode. Green Bay and Detroit still even. Chicago's fallen off the pace by two. Tampa Bay, Atlanta, and the Saints at six and five. Carolina only a game back. The South is a bloodbath. We're nine and two. We've got a four-game advantage with... What's that? Nine, eleven, five to play? No. Yeah. Sixteen. Sixteen, correct. But we go to week eighteen. Seventeen? Is it? I don't remember. I think it's sixteen games, right? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, well. Anyway, we got a four-game advantage. The Redskins have actually won a few games. Seahawks, six and five. Cardinals and Niners at five and six. Rams have won a couple of games. Over in the American League, Pittsburgh's now nine and two. They've lost two, but one are on a three-game win streak. Baltimore has gone gone from 0 and 7 to 4 and 7. And everybody's in a log jam there, but five games out. Pittsburgh running away. Jaguars at nine and two. Texans at eight and three. Cruising in that division. Bills at eight and three. Patriots have come back to eight and four. And Kansas City and the Chargers at seven and four. But look at the win streaks at the bottom of that division. Denver and Oakland have clawed their way back. Oakland's gone from one and seven to four and seven. Denver from two and five to uh, or three and five to six and five. So only a game separating the top three there. So that's going to come down to it. And if we look at our statistics, that's going to be under team. The text is a little small, but I understand, you know, what I, you know, with the news and everything, I understand they've got to just try to fit everything in. But the text, you know, especially, you know, with my older eyes, I'm sitting here having to like strain to see. Prescott, 2,784 yards, 66%, 19 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Pretty happy with that. Watson, uh, yeah, 3-7 three, three, and 3-8 three, I don't think are going to get it done for us. Dion's 3-4, but he's just coming back from an injury. I don't count the quarterbacks. And receiving Cooper, 69 for 1,247 yards. Uh, he has got, he's probably going to set a new career high with catches because the only, well, I, uh, maybe, I mean, he needs, he's averaging what, 35 catches every six weeks. We got six weeks left. That would put him over a hundred. So he needs to get to 89 for a new personal best. I think he's going to smash his career best uh, last year. He only needs 240 yards. I mean, that's two to three weeks for him. Seven touchdowns, no drops this year. That's huge. And I think uh, only two more touchdowns to equal last year. So he's having a career season. Very good. Uh, Ship, 53, 667, and seven touchdowns as well. Matching him step for step in the end zone. Knowlton, 19 for 192. 
second round pick. Now, what I foresee happening at some point is moving Cooper or Ship and, or letting them go and Knowlton having to step up into that number two receiver and be in our possession guy. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't know what's going to transpire long term, or again, how long we're going to go with this. Again, in the comments, I know at the end of last season, two episodes ago, we talked about uh, continuing with this, or if y'all wanted me to transition into a college save. Uh, so let me know uh, if you guys have a preference. Um, I'll only do one or the other, and you know, at some point, this one will end. I just don't know when. And then we'll probably do a college one at some point. But, you know, if you guys would rather college, uh, again, I don't think we would end up playing out any games. I don't think the games, these text-based simulation games are not uh, conducive, I don't feel, to playing out the games. Um, you know, and, and you know, that, that's just me. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's see. Defense. 84 tackles. He was a big signing for us, was he not? Um, seven tackles for loss, two forced fumbles, six sacks for Covington, five for Jackson. How's he doing? 23 tackles, five tackles for loss, five sacks, two forced fumbles. Not bad, not bad. All right, uh, kicking game. 22 out of 28. Is that 28 or 23? I got a little, you can't see it, but 22 out of 23. Oh, that's much better. All right, I can live with that. I was like, 22 out of 28, that sucks. Uh, and then uh, 32 for 32 on extra points. So uh, I think we only missed uh, that one. It was over 40, so... All right, guys. Well, that's going to end this episode. We will be back next episode with the end of the season, um, I believe, is what we'll do. And um, kind of wrap that up. And, uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else we got going on. Nothing else to look at here. Uh, if there's anything over here you guys want to see, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to pull it up, like historical win-loss. Uh, nine and three against the Giants, six and six, six and five divisional games, three and oh against the Bucks, the Cards. Anybody we got a losing record against? We got 500. Uh, ooh, wow. There we go. Oh, and three against the Vikings. With one game, I don't really count those, but oh, and three against the Vikes. That's, hmm. Don't want to cross pass with those guys, I suppose. And we can take a, well, well, let's look at this one at the beginning of next season, team records. But, you know, they're up there if you guys want to glance at them. Um, but, yeah, we'll go through all these. I mean, there's a few things in there. Uh, Off-season items. Okay, draft picks, camp report. All right, so, you know, there's... Few, few screens in there we haven't really looked at. But, uh, yeah, so if there's anything in here you guys want to look at uh, in particular, let me know in the comments. We, we can certainly do that. We, you know, the, we have enough time uh, to do that in the scheme of all this. But uh, hit the like button, subscribe, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking, what you're seeing, any ideas, any stuff you want to see. And we will see you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.